Okay, so what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to share with you the newest addition to my shop, which is this rigid dust deputy stacked dust collection system. I've used the newest generation of vacuums from rigid, which is the next series. Uh, the next series does bring some complications to the mix because of the fact that the standard PVC fittings no longer just slide over the wheel assembly in order to do your uprights to do a stack system but I believe I found a workaround, so hang tight and I'll share that with you now. Okay, so now we talk about the big elephant in the room, which is the fact that Rigid has changed the wheel assembly on the newest generation, which now does not accept any of the standard PVC pipe or fittings that used to be used on the old models of vacuums. But I believe I found a workaround for that. So this piece right here comes from a adapter set that's sold at Home Depot, made by Rigid. And the problem is, is this piece costs pretty much eight bucks because the other pieces you could use, you probably will use at some point, but this is the piece you're, you're aiming to get. And this piece fits perfectly onto that wheel assembly. Problem is, it does not accept a two inch piece of PVC pipe. The solution is to heat this piece up with a heat gun. And once you get it really malleable, you force the two inch pipe inside of it until you get about halfway down and then let it cool. Once you do that, you'll have an adapter. Now, this piece, you do have to be careful with because if you can see, maybe there's a seam on both sides where it was welded together. And if you're not careful and you don't heat it up enough when you start forcing that pipe in, you'll split that seam. Ask me how I know. So, is expensive to get your hands on four of these. Maybe not worth it for you. It was for me. You might be able to take a piece of PVC pipe, heat it up enough to where you can really stretch it out and force it over the wheel assembly. I, however, did not do that, clearly. And when you're done, you'll end up with something just like this. And that fits perfectly, as I said before, over the wheel assembly. Okay, so now let's talk about how we're going to transition from the adapter that we've just made up to the PVC pipe to the piece of plywood that's going to store our accessories and our bucket and the cyclone. And again, there's probably many ways you can do this. What I did, however, is I purchased these two inch slip on caps to male thread. And then with a friction fit, put your pipe in there. Obviously this would be a full length pipe. I'm just using this for demonstration. And then you purchase a threaded cap and you sandwich the plywood in between these pieces. And then, so obviously once that plywood's in there, and you crank down, you're really adding a lot of stability to this thing because everything is super tight. I did try this with a piece of pipe to a slip coupling, to a short piece of pipe, to a cap, to pretty much do exactly this. But without gluing everything together, there was no way to get that really tight fit that this cap can give you. And so when, when I put it together that way, it just, it was really wobbly. The whole thing just kind of didn't have any rigidity to it. But once I transitioned from pipe to these fittings and cranked down on it, man, the thing is robust at that point. So this is really nice, easy to put together, easy to take apart. I didn't glue any pieces. Everything is friction fit. And I'll show you later how stable it is set up that way. 
Okay, so on to our piece of plywood. So this is a three quarter inch piece of plywood. You could use anything from three quarter down to half inch, anything less than half inch, and it's probably gonna be too flimsy. Anything greater than three quarter, and the threads will not be able to stick out of the plywood enough for the cap to grab a hold of, so that just won't work. So don't do that. All the holes are two and a half inch holes. The only difference being the ones for the accessories do have a little notch in them. The ones that are for the hard pipe that are here and here have a little bit deeper of a notch because of the tug along system that is a little bit more proud on the hard pipe than it is on the accessories. So you do need to keep that in mind when you choose how you're laying your top out and where you're gonna put your accessories. I wanted two pieces over here, so I did turn this one slightly. I even notched on a little bit of a tilt there just to remind myself where this one went. Then I have the round bristle brush, the two hard pipe, which would be facing the back, then the floor brush here with the four corners being for the PVC uprights. Hole for the bucket, pretty self-explanatory. Um, that hole size, in case you wanna know, for a current Home Depot bucket, I went right at 11 and a half. You probably could go with 11 and a quarter. I left mine a little bit loose because I did want the bucket to be able to rotate as I was kind of vacuuming around, especially on the floor. That way it would move with me a little bit. Um, other than that, I rounded the edges. I just traced the bucket and cut it out with the jigsaw and then sanded them down. That's pretty much that. So here we got a dust deputy cyclone with a Home Depot bucket and lid. Didn't really do much here except for I added some rigidity to the whole thing by adding a eighth inch piece of ply, which technically that's not plywood, that is some composite crap paneling stuff that I had laying around, scrap stuff. And I did one on the top side, one on the bottom side. Factory hardware still works. So it's a cyclone the gasket that comes with the dust deputy on top of the piece of paneling with a homemade gasket that uh, was this material that some hot sauce that I order online comes wrapped in. Um, it's perfect for that. And then the bottom piece and that's it. I did choose to get the dust deputy that sends out these elbows. Um, it's so worth it because they're tapered, as you can see here, it's got a taper. They fit perfectly to the dust deputy, it gives you a 90 degree turn, so your pipe isn't coming like this, it comes off in a nice clean turn. And then also, the, there's two of these that come with it. The other one slides right into the shop vac with a nice tight fit, which allows your hose routing to just be a little bit easier, a little bit cleaner, and it just looks good, so. I went with that. Okay, so this is the part that I picked up to hang the hose from. I liked it because it had the two hangers and that allowed the hose to kind of have a little bit rounder circumference to it instead of a single. Also, the pattern that you have to screw it to something was dimensionally just slightly less than a piece of two by six. And I had a piece of two by six laying around so that worked out perfect. Um, I cut the two by six to length and I rounded the edges to match the piece of plywood that it mounts to. The only other thing I did is I did add some diagonal bracing. That was just to give it some added stability so it didn't want to do this and it was attached to the piece of plywood. I attached it to the piece of plywood like so.
such. That went off to the right hand side the way I decided to do it. And it works great. I went with a 20 inch, excuse me, 20 foot <laughs> hose. It was $29 and some change off homedepot.com. Whereas a seven foot section from the shelf at Home Depot was $21. And the 20 foot hose allows me to leave the collector pretty much stationary and reach everywhere I need to reach in the area that I'm working. So it was kind of a no brainer there. So here it is all assembled, everything the way I need it to be. Obviously there's lots of ways you can do this. One thing I'd like to point out, I did leave a pretty good space between the lid of the shop vac and the bottom of the bucket. That way I can actually access the filter without having to take the bucket out or anything like that, which would not be the end of the world. It's super quick and easy. This thing, you can take this thing apart in less than a minute, literally, um, and have just a normal shop vac. So super easy to put together, super easy to take apart, super easy to service. Love how the hose just hangs there. 20 foot of hose, takes up very little space. All my accessories that I use all the time up top, it's really stable. I mean, it, I mean, it barely moves. On the back side, that is a, an accessory caddy that comes with the shop back where I put the stuff I don't use very often. I did add a, a muffler to it just to dissipate any moving air in the shop when I don't want it. Cord wrap still works. It's all that in a bag of chips, folks. I'm happy with it. Obviously not my design. However, it is new-ish because of the, the next series vax that Rigid's now making. I've not seen anybody come up with a solution yet and make a video of it. So hopefully this helps anyone that's run into this issue. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thank you for watching. And please, guys, subscribe to my channel. I am going to try to make something out of this. This is really going to be my first big video that I'm actually going to spend some time on. I know it's still kind of cheesy and sucks, but hey, got to start somewhere. So please help me out and subscribe to the channel. And uh, hopefully I can put out future content that will be helpful for everyone. Thank you so much. Have a great day.